after they sprayed the sides of the roads, they had another truck with a different type of attachment and it sprayed into the trees. Literally, I'm not making this up. Like How y'all doing? So, good old weather manipulation here in Northeast Texas. It's freezing rain right now. Come up underneath the house here, but I wanted to tell y'all a little bit of a story. I was talking about it over on the vlog. Go check that out. It's about us feeding the cattle and stuff like that. But I wanted to make this video about what are y'all's thoughts on weather manipulation. There is a God in heaven and he does control everything. But there are very wicked people in the world that um, spray in the sky 24-7, 365 days a year. And uh, anyway, yeah, it's interesting. And it's so hard to tell nowadays what is natural and what is man-made? Um, I know there's a lot of people, there are people that are like, uh, weather manipulation is not a thing. Sadly, I can't agree with that because it's just so obvious. I mean, they, they spray all the time, at least around here in Northeast Texas. I think weather manipulation is definitely a thing. And it's so weird how it happens, you know? And like I've talked about in the past on, on the channel here is that we had a very interesting turn of events. This summer we had a very, very hard drought. Very hard drought. Lots of cattle got slaughtered. Massive slaughtering of the cattle. Personally, I thought it was man-made drought because if they want it to rain, technically we have all the things in place, especially in Texas, to go up there we have supposedly planes and stuff like this with all the chemicals and crap in there. Spray it up there, boom, rain, supposedly. So, well, they didn't use any of that. <laughs> I think they're using it now because it's raining right now. So, it's just always so tricky and all the things that were happening over in the Netherlands with them getting rid of the cattle over there or the mass slaughtering of cattle over there, but that was by their government and they didn't have pew pews over there. But the other thing too is, I think the US government knew that if they were gonna try to pull that garbage off here in the US, they would have tremendous pushback from a good a lot of us country boys that raise our own cattle because around here, we do not bow the knee to no government. We already gotta jump through so much, especially the bigger guys um, that raise cattle by like the thousands and stuff like that. They already got to jump through so many so many loopholes and junk like that. You're going to go tell them to their face, hey, you got to cut back your herd by 80, 90%. That ain't happening. So I personally, this is my opinion, and you don't have to agree with it, but I would like to hear y'all's y'all thoughts and opinions, which I know you will leave in the comments down below. But the deal is, is that I personally think, because it was so weird how the drought correlated right along the same timeline or within the same month or something like that with all the shenanigans I was happening over in the Netherlands. Never let a good crisis go to waste. And when the people are scared and frantically moving about, scared of inflation, trying to put food on family, it's the perfect mixture for uh, the elites of the world, the one percenters of the world to mandate junk put in new laws, massive land grabs, you know, and at the same time, kill a bunch of cattle. Could the drought be just totally natural? Absolutely, 100%, but that that's what I'm trying to say is that it's so tricky now to actually know what is natural and what is not natural. And these people that are like, we gotta save the planet, man. The polar bears are dying, which the ice caps are melting. Okay, we gotta do something, okay? We're all like 80 feet underwater right now. New York City's not even a thing. It's It's been underwater. We wanna do something. Let's stop spraying the sides of the highways with pesticides and herbicides. Roundup, that's what they do around here. They spray, it's a new thing. In the last six months or so, I've just seen it. They got a herbicide, not pesticide. So you probably have those too, but it says herbicide with the poison signatures and stuff on it. Um, like warning, herbicide, stay away or whatever. 
They spray it on everything of recently. Spray it all along the highway. Stuff dies. But then I think, I don't know if they're doing it to save money because gas, because diesel went up. And, but they have millions of dollars worth of brand new equipment that they can go brush hog the sides of the roads. Then like a cup, like literally a couple weeks after they sprayed all the sides of the roads with this herbicide, very expensive stuff, by the way, they come back and brush hog the side of the road. And I'm like, wow, like, can we waste any more money? Can we literally waste any more money? You're going to herbicide, you're going to herbicide us. And then you're going to come back and cut it, which I'm, I'm fine with them cutting the sides of the roads, but I really don't care what the sides of the roads look like, y'all. I know you do have to cut the sides of the roads for fire stuff and safety stuff. I get that. But let's just use some common sense. And for any people in government, I mean, we got to use our money way more wisely um, because it is stupid. And also, you know, what does all of these mass amount of chemicals going into our into our environment even do to it we don't even know this is such a new concept especially with the road thing chemicals have been around for a little bit but it's still generally a pretty new thing um somewhat but we don't even know the side effects of these things and also that that was the other thing they don't now at least around here but i want to hear from other americans too but after they sprayed the sides of the roads, they had another truck with a different type of attachment and it sprayed into the trees. Literally, I'm not making this up. Like I literally saw it with my own two eyes. You can ask all my brothers. It has a nozzle and it literally sprays the trees, like the branches or whatever, I guess. I guess it kills the, but I'm like, what the heck? The thing's spraying it like 20 some odd feet onto people's property. Okay, you got the cleared section of the road there that is their their property or whatever. Okay, great. That's your little piece of property beside easement on the side of the highway. Got it. Cool. But then you're spraying over that from the road, over that to my side of the property, over it, misting all of my vegetation with it. Praise the Lord, I live off of the highway enough that I don't get misted by this crap, but still even watching them go down the road and still being a couple feet, a couple hundred feet off of it, I don't want to be outside inhaling this stuff. Um, so does that mean I'm going to lock myself inside? No, but I just wanted to talk to y'all about this. It's just absolutely disgusting what they're doing to the environment. Um, if you think the weather's manipulated or not, I don't care. They're spraying heavy toxins into the air it jacks with stuff it messes everything up then they spray it all and then that's the other thing they spray all these heavy toxins and then you don't even think about when the water comes in like now and it washes into all of our waterways and it stinking poison washing into the waterways and it's gonna kill stuff that ain't natural stuff but anyway y'all hopefully i can hear from y'all some people with some real common sense, taxpayers with real common sense, taxation is theft, y'all, and the Fed. So anyway, love y'all so much. If you want to support the channel, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Also, go check out thetexasboys.com. We sell our own coffee line, CBD coffee, lion's mane, mushroom coffee. Really good, seven different types of mushrooms, um, and it's caffeine-free. So, it, and it, man, it wakes your brain up in the morning, and it's some good go-go juice and or midday like you're having that little bit of that crash midday crash and you just need three more hours to get done your work day that is the perfect stuff to heat up drink it it's really good it's really good on a cold day also organic honey all types of stuff like that over on texasboys.com james loves you i love you we'll see y'all in the next video Bye bye <laughs>